Recently, me and some other members in the Mapless Discord explored what some of these custom maps look like with something called Free Camp Mod, which basically allows you to look at a BTD6 map in a different angle. Now, this is because these maps are technically in 3D, although it doesn't really look like it. So this map, for example, when moved around, would look like this. Now, if you want to play any of these maps, you'll see the code for them um, pop up right before uh, I, we go in them. So yeah, that's what it is. So now looking at Abandoned Lab, this one's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't look too interesting at the start, but it has a neat feature where when you click on the big laboratory thing in the middle, this guy ends up popping out. So that's what he looks like. It's pretty flat. Um, not much is going on there. There's just some layering with some props at the top, though. Next, we're going to be looking at the Secret Cave. Now, this one's pretty interesting because it's kind of like a cave layered on top. So there's all of this, all of like the trees and stuff on top right there. And then when you look underneath, there it's this little cave thing in it. And when you remove the center right here for $15,000, you reveal the secret cave inside. So that's that's what it looks like. Pretty interesting. Um, the inside of the cave is pretty small, so it's not like a whole lot's going on there, but it's a neat little gimmick. Now, this one's a super cool map. I think I'm going to be playing this map in a video later um, for another custom map like showcase video. But this one is really, really cool when you look in 3D. The perspective is like all goofy and it's just really bizarre. I, I love this one. Um, the use of the signs for the ropes is also super creative. Next, we're going to be looking at the panic murder at the disco. And now this one's really funny because when you click on all of the animals, they well get murdered um so this is what it looks like it's a lot of tires and stuff uh i think also just like the way that the buildings and walls come together is pretty neat but here's uh what they look like so basically when uh all of these action action props are activated the blood comes out and these are basically those uh like i forget what they're called just th those big like uh warning rail things i'm not sure exactly what it is but some other things happen too uh, so like the disco ball falls down and there there's those rails so that's basically the blood so if you put them at the right angle the white doesn't show and it's just like a big splotch of blood so this is um what it's going to look like when we activate the disco ball to fall down on the chicken uh in the middle uh so it's going to be coming soon let's see when is it going to come right now there you go <laughs> that's what happens and then here's some other ones the truck comes out from the end right there too so yeah that's that one next we're going to be looking at mom spaghetti now this one's a really cool one because this is just a ton of bars of soap uh configured in very particular ways so the dark part on the side makes like these curves and you make spaghetti out of this this one was a really really fun map to make and it looks really crazy in 3d so yeah i, I definitely love this one and if you want a fun map to play you definitely should play mom's spaghetti so yeah let's move on to the next one the next one's going to be pie this one this one is the one that i made for a video like a while ago and it got like no likes which i thought was kind of funny i thought it was really cool it was for pie day really nice theme um it's not too interesting in 3d but it is still pretty cool uh there's just some like layers where everything comes in and you can see all of that so the next one will be the Fender Stratocaster. This one is also really, really, really cool in 3D. So basically, it's kind of like it. It reminded me of like one of those cross section video, cross section like books, like the Star Wars Complete Cross Section, where like they just take off a part and it just like all comes out. And it also kind of looks like a real guitar when you're building it, because I I built a guitar and like you put in each bit. So there's like the uh, the pick guard. There's the um bridge there's the what should we call it the pickups and all of that stuff and the fret and in this it kind of just looks like all these pieces are floating above it and ready just to be slotted right into the guitar so really really awesome in 3d and then i think this is going to be the last one right here we have the golden dragon now this one's also really cool because it's made exclusively out of these lollipops and when you open it up it's all like layered around so you see the sticks coming down it kind of looks like one of those um chinese dragons that have all the sticks and people underneath parade with it um so yeah this one's also really cool just just love it it's really fun to look at also a bunch of the fences come out 
Um, so actually, I lied. This one is going to be the last one, which is <laughs> a lot of fences. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this one is awesome. I made this a while ago. It's when I was just kind of like discovering how um, the maps worked out. But yeah, that's an X-Wing with a ton of fences. And that's basically how I made it. I just put them, put the fences in the right spot and all, and they come together. Thanks for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, it would greatly help out the channel. And if you want to see another cool challenge or informative guide, click right here. Goodbye.